near mint condition, the home of collected oh, edition. That cover is so awesome. Absolute format is the best way to own this store. Time to empty those wallets and fill those shelves. How's it going, all you mentees? Uncanny Omar here from Near Mint Condition, the home of Collected Editions. And today, I'm going to be talking about the Collected Editions in the DC solicitations for 2024. Month of November, that is. So let's go ahead and get started. And welcome back, everybody. Now, before I go any further, please don't forget to smash that like button. That goes a long way for us here on the channel. Very small thing you can do, but it means the world to us. So we are looking at the solicitations. We just got a glimpse of the catalog, and the catalog is huge. Huge. Oh my gosh, there's going to be a lot of books getting solicited here in the next few months. This month of November is a little bit smaller, though, than it usually is, and that's because there's two months out of the year. It's usually uh, February and around November. They're both Marvel and DC kind of slow down a little bit, but then the next month, whoo! All right. So, actually, let's just go ahead and start talking about these books. We have The Batman and Scooby-Doo Mysteries Volume 5 that kicks off this list with writers like Sholy Fish, Jay Torres, Ivan Cohen, Matthew Cody, and Amanda Dybert. And the cover there is by Dario Brizuela. $12.99, 128 pages, and collecting issues 1 through 6 of the Batman and Scooby-Doo Mysteries. And that is the third series of Batman and Scooby-Doo Mysteries. And you have art in there from Dario Brizuela, Scott Gerald, and Megan Huang, just to name a few of the creators behind that and then we move on to neil before zod by joe casey i got to interview him just a couple of weeks ago uh now this not only collects neil before zod one through eight but it also collects the action comics one uh 1060 so this particular book is a soft cover it is penciled by dan mccade has 200 pages for $19.99. And even though we are looking at November solicitations, I always tell people to keep in mind that November solicitations under the November date for the single issues, the trade paperbacks and the hardcovers, they will be l way after November. Kingdom Come is getting the DC Compact Comics Edition treatment. So $19.99, the writing of Mark Wade, the beautiful painted artwork of Alex Ross, and this one is 176 pages. One thing that I noted, I don't, sometimes the solicits are wrong, but it does state that it is Kingdom Come, superheroes and villains. Okay, coming out in May of 2025. It's interesting that this one is $19.99, considering the DC Compact Comics Editions have been $9.99. So maybe that's just a mistake. I would think so. This is a soft cover, and again, smaller size. I've done an overview of the first two releases. DC's finest, Aquaman, King of Atlantis. No Omnis in the catalog for Aquaman, but we are getting a DC's finest. So in here, you're going to have Adventure Comics 229 to 280, or rather material from those comics, 282, 284, Action Comics 272, Detective Comics 393 to 300, World's Finest, Comics 125, Showcase 30 to 33, Superman's Girlfriend, Lois Lane number 12, and Aquaman 1 through 3. 620, this is a big book, 624 pages, $39.99. We have Jack Miller, Otto Binder, Robert Bernstein, Ramona Fradon, and Nick Cardi, with the cover there by Nick Cardi, just to name a few of the creators. And not the only DC's Finest book, we have DC's Finest Supergirl, the Girl of Steel, with also Otto Binder and Jerry Siegel working on this particular title. And in here, you're going to find the appearances of Supergirl from 1959 to 1962. So, Action Comics 252 to 288, Adventure Comics 278, Superman 139 and 140, and 144. 
Superboy, 80, Superman's girlfriend, Lois Lane, 14 and 20, and Superman's pal, Jimmy Olsen, 40, 46, 51, and 57. 600 pages, $39.99. We don't have our first few volumes of this yet, so I'm not sure what the built is going to be like. Uh, but these are some big books, and that price, my goodness, 39 that is low, $39.99. Some people are speculating that is the introductory price and volume two will be a lot higher. Uh, I don't know. I mean, they've kept the prices down on compendiums and some of those books are well over 1,100 pages. So we shall see. The Superman 100 Project. So this is all of the Hero Initiative's 100 plus original covers to DC Superman number six. They're all collected in this particular book. So you have artwork in here from Alan Davis, Kevin Eastman, Jose Luis Garcia Lopez, Dan Jurgens, Ed McGinnis, Frank Miller, Frank Quitely, and so many more. So these are all the covers collected in this book. And also a special behind the scenes section showing developmental art, along with even more bonus content. There will be only one printing of this book ever. Get it now so you don't blow your chance. I didn't come up with that. That was actually written in the solicitations. 112 pages, $14.99. It is a soft cover, surprisingly for a book that is only going to have one printing. But then again, if it's got the Heroes Initiative project, then that's what they did with the reprint of the JLA versus Avengers by Kurt Busiek and George Pettis before George passed away. So probably the same kind of deal that they've worked out. Limited uh printing of it and also a one-time printing 52 volume 2 the 2024 edition this is a reprint of the thicky collecting issues 27 through 52 no not collected in there is world war 3 unfortunately 612 pages 49 dollars and 99 cents mark wade greg rucka grant morrison jeff johns also keith giffen chris batista joe Bennett, and the cover there by jg jones this is the stuff that follows up, of course, Infinite Crisis, and it is that missing year. What happened to the heroes before one year later kicks off? Another 2024 edition uh, coming out in December, so right in December, but not the last day of December, like 52 Volume 2, is Batman Volume 3, I Am Bane. So this is Tom King's run on Batman. It seems like they are reprinting it in a trade paperback format again and collecting batman 16 through 20 and 23 and 24 and batman annual number one and this is the era when david finch was on the book and tom king of course writing these particular stories these have been collected in trade paperbacks before and there are thickies coming out and then of course the Lux editions no mention yet of an omnibus uh, it does not collect the button crossover, and that's what the missing issues are, and that's the crossover with the Flash, issues 21 and 22. Batman Battle for the Cow, the complete collection. Now, DC doesn't really do complete... Do they... I, I'm so sorry. I, um, I know Marvel had the complete collection line, and those have been now discontinued and replaced by the modern epics, but I can't remember if DC had an actual complete collection line um, and please please let me know in the comments down below but this is batman battle for the cow the complete collection uh collecting battle for the cow one through three batman battle for the cow arkham asylum one battle for the cow commissioner gordon one battle for the cow man bat one the one shot of the network and the battle ca uh, for the cow the underground number one the gotham gazette batman dead question mark number one Gotham Gazette, Batman Alive, question mark number one, Oracle, The Cure, the three-issue miniseries, the three-issue miniseries of Asriel, Death's Dark Knight 1 through 3, and Secret 6, number 9. So the stuff in here has been previously collected before in trade paperbacks. Battle for the Cow actually has been collected in a standard-sized hardcover. That's the Tony Danielle series, so you do have Tony Danielle, Fabian Niciesa, Kevin Van Hook, and then you have Fraser Irving, Tony Danielle on artwork, and... Juan Lopez and Fernando Pasarin with that cover there by Tony Daniel. $39.99, 436 pages. It is a soft cover. And I actually, I don't, I'm trying to think if the underground was collected somewhere. Battle for the Cow Underground. I know Oracle has, I know Asriel has, and Secret Six has. 
Uh, but I can't remember if the underground has been collected. But let's move on to the next book. Swamp Thing by Mark Miller and Phil Hester. So this is collecting Swamp Thing, the second volume, the, the or volume two as it's called, 140 to 171. So this is the era of Swamp Thing that takes place immediately after the Nancy Collins run of Swamp Thing. And the very first few issues that are collected in this particular run are written by Grant Morrison. So it's not just the Mark Miller era. It's also some Grant Morrison stuff in here. And in here, you're also going to find the artwork by Phil Hester. Now, this immediately takes place after Nancy Collins. And of course, Nancy Collins was after Alan Moore. After Alan Moore, it's the Rick Fage series. But this ends this era of Swamp Thing. We don't get another Swamp Thing series until... I think the 90s, and then eventually I think the Brian K. Vaughn series later on. Yeah, it's a while. Even though this ends in 1996, I think the next little miniseries was like a five-issue miniseries that took place in the late 90s. But ending of an era here with issue 171. Immediately taking place after your Nancy Collins omnibus. Stormwatch, The Road to the Authority Compendium. So this is collecting the entire Warren Ellis run, it looks like, because it's collecting Stormwatch Volume 1, 37 through 50, uh, Stormwatch Preview Number 1, and Stormwatch Volume 2, 1 through 11. Still not in here is the Wildcats Aliens crossover, which um, reshuffles the team a little bit, I will say that much. So artwork in here by Tom Rainey and Brian Hitch and also of course Paul Neary. 680 pages, $59.99. This has been collected in two hardcovers in the past and a series of trade paperbacks as well. And Blue Beetle Volume 2 is coming out. That is by Josh Trujillo, Adrian Gutierrez, and Scott Collins, Howard Porter, Cully Hammer, Natasha Bustos are some of the creators behind this. Adrian Gutierrez is the artist on that cover. And look, anytime you have a cover with blue and gold, baby, that's all I need. But on top of that, you have some of the JLI members. And by blue and gold, I always mean Ted Cord and Booster Gold, by the way. But you have the Heckler in there? That's awesome. I haven't read this series. Fire and Ice, Ambush Bugs. Somebody loved Keith Giffen in the JLI era. But if you've been reading this, please let me know in the comments down below because I am very curious about the series. And Birds of Prey, Volume 2. This is the Kelly Thompson run, collecting Birds of Prey 7 through 13. Sophie Campbell, huh, is joining the team. Sophie Campbell, of course, working on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles right before Jason Aaron took over the run. But in here is also the work of Javier Pina and Robbie Rodriguez, Gavin Gurdry, and David Lopez. And the cover is by Leonardo Bastos Romero. So this is Kelly Thompson. And I just finished reading Volume 1. Solid. I'm really digging her Birds of Prey. And I've been a fan of Birds of Prey for a long time. So it's good to see that it's under some good hands now. If you're interested in pre-ordering any of these books, check out our sponsors. BD Cosmos, the Canadian leader in graphic novels. They have a physical storefront in Montreal, Quebec, and their website, bdcosmos.com, offers 25% off your order of over $99 or more and free shipping everywhere in Canada for every order of $200 or more. Their shipping care is exceptional. Your books will stay cozy through the rough Canadian weather and arrive to you in... Near Mint Condition! After checkout, let them know Near Mint Condition sent you their way and you'll be added to the monthly $25 gift card raffle. Entries are valid for new and returning customers. Don't be afraid to call or email them. Ask them questions. Their staff is always happy to help guide you towards the right purchase. Visit their website, bdcosmos.com for more. B. D. Cosmos. With rewards and raffles taking care of customers in Canada. A. Eh? CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off cover price. They have excellent shipping and prompt and helpful service. Check out their bargain deals for up to 90% off cover price. And don't forget that CGN also takes pre-orders. That way you don't miss out on the hottest releases. And they are currently running a special promotion for you minties. If you're a first-time customer, after receiving your order confirmation email, 
reply back to that email and let them know Near Mint Condition sent you their way. They will then apply a free shipping promotional credit to your next order in the US. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discount, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. And that was the DC solicitations for November of 2024. Of course, we're talking about the collected editions. Let me know in the comments down below which book you're excited for, which book you hope to see, that it has been in the catalog, that you cannot wait to get see it officially uh, solicited in the next month's solicitations. Any questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. Everyone stay healthy and safe out there. Much love. <laughs>